Hi, fabulous second graders. I've been missing you so much. I hope you had a great weekend. Welcome back to math. I love math. It's so amazing. It's used in every part of our lives. I, I tell you, we're just gonna be using math forever and ever to do all sorts of amazing things. Today, let's do a little bit of review with angles and lines and all of that. We haven't done that for a couple weeks. I wanna make sure that's fresh, that it stays with us, okay? So let's review. Angles. Angles are when two lines come together and intersect, okay? Intersect. There's an angle right there. Now, if this keeps opening up until it's completely straight up and down, well, that doesn't look very straight at all. Let me try again. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it straighter. You can use your ruler if you wanna make it really straight. Okay, it intersects right there. Okay, so we have another angle. It's straight up and down. In fact, I could make a little square in the corner. Or this line might open up even more. Let's be like that. So it's a nice wide open angle. Okay, do you guys remember the names of these types of angles? So this is the type of angle. If it's really wide open, we call it, yes, Dexter, obtuse. Obtuse. Everybody say it, obtuse. It's kind of fun to say, obtuse. Okay, so this one is obtuse. Nice, big, wide open angle. This one is called a what kind of angle? Yes, Lane, right angle. And what if it's pretty small. Think about small little animals. They're so cute. Yeah, it's an acute angle. Okay. And if you decide to become an architect building buildings or all sorts of different things, you're going to have to refer to certain angles. You might say, oh, that's an acute angle. That's a right angle. That's an obtuse angle. Okay. So for instance, if we have a square, how many angles does a square have? Well, here's an angle, one, two, three, four. So it has four angles, and what type of angles are they? Can you even see that? It's off the board. Okay, let me scoot it over. It has four angles. What type of angles are they? Well, they make perfect little squares. It's a square. So it has four right angles. So those are our types of angles. And as you'll remember, when we're talking about angles, when we're measuring angles, we don't use inches. That's how long something is, right? And we're not gonna use pounds or ounces. That's how heavy something is. For angles, we use degrees, kind of like with our temperature, okay? But it's a different kind of degree, right? Now, if you go all the way in a whole circle, that's 360 degrees. So that means all the way around would be 360 degrees, okay? Why do I keep not getting this into the picture? Okay, that would be 360 degrees. So we've got our types of angles, but let's talk about now these degrees. Okay. Well, all the way around would be 360 degrees. Half of 360 is 180 degrees. So if it's just a flat, the angle's completely open, it's gone. Think about a clock. Think about the hands of the clock. If they're together, it hasn't gone anywhere, zero, de zero degrees. If it goes halfway around the clock, it opens up, that's 180 degrees. If it goes all the way around the clock, that's 360 degrees. Okay. But usually when we're talking about angles, that means that Usually we'll be using ones that are smaller than 180 degrees. So we'll have it come up a little bit. So if it was like right about there, it's not 180, it's gonna be smaller now. If it gets right here, like a quarter of the way around the clock, that's 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle is a right angle, 90 degrees. But if, if it's over here, it's bigger than that. So it might be about 100 and let's say 50 degrees right there. 150, 140, 130, 100, 190. 
Okay, so now we're at 90 degrees. So if it's an acute angle, so those were obtuse angles, right? That's a big obtuse angle, 150 degrees. Wow. Okay. And if we were in the classroom, I was going to have us use some uh, special measuring the tools that we could use for angles, but we don't have those right now. So we'll have to do that next year. You'll get to do that with Mrs. Cantrell. Okay. But here's a nice big obtuse angle. Here's a right angle at 90 degrees. And if it's smaller than 90 degrees, it's an acute angle. So if it's right about here, like halfway, that would be 45 degrees. But even if it was 89 degrees, really, really, really close to 90, if it was 89 degrees, that would still be called an acute angle. Just barely smaller, right? Here's 45, here's maybe 20 degrees. That's a very little one, okay? Acute. So here are my acute angles. Acute, 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 90 degree right angle. Obtuse, 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 obtuse. Okay, all the way to 180 degrees and you can get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. And then if you're talking to somebody and you say, hey, make a 180 degree turn. It means just turn around, 180 degrees. Turn around and face the other way. If you tell them to make a 360 degree turn, you're telling them to turn all the way back around, like a spin, okay? So that's what they're talking about with measuring degrees. Okay. And let's review our types of lines, because then I'm gonna give you some different shapes and ask you to use these, these spicy math words, okay, to talk about them. So let's now talk about our lines. Our lines can intersect, that means they can cross, just like an intersection of roads crossing. Okay. Now, if lines never intersect, so here's a line segment, that means part of a line, but they really keep going and going, so I'll make it in little arrows. If they keep going and going and they're never ever going to cross, those lines are parallel, okay? Parallel lines. If they do cross, so that they are making right angles right here. So like this, making a right angle, those lines are called perpendicular. Okay, so parallel lines never ever cross. Perpendicular lines cross and make right angles. Okay, if it can make a right angle, those two lines right here, line A and line B, are perpendicular to each other because they make a nice right angle in that corner. All right? So review these with each other. If you want to go, if you want to go back and forth, review this. Okay, use those words. Draw some parallel lines. Draw some perpendicular lines. Okay, start to talk about, hmm, they crossed. So if my lines cross like this, okay, look at that angle right there. There's an angle where two lines have crossed. That angle right there is pretty tight together. That's an acute angle. So it's gonna be less than 90 degrees. But look at this angle between there. Ooh, that's a nice big open one. So that one is obtuse. That's gonna be greater than 90 degrees, all right? So let's look at some shapes. I'm gonna put some up here for you. And I'm gonna ask you some questions about them and I want you to write down your answers on your whiteboard or a piece of paper to put on Seesaw. So let's say I have this shape. So I have a triangle, okay? This is side A, line A right here, this line segment. Here's B from here to here, and this is C, okay? Which two lines are perpendicular to each other? Which two lines are perpendicular? So on your board or paper, I want you to draw this triangle. If you wanna use your ruler, you can. And I want you to write down which two lines. So is it C and B? Are they perpendicular to each other? C and A? or A and B, which two lines create a, are perpendicular to each other, okay? 
Then I want you to write down and label these angles. So what kind of angle is this? What kind of angle is that? What kind of angle is that? So on your picture, write it down. Is this obtuse, right? Is it acute? Same thing for each angle. And then underneath it, write down lines C and B are perpendicular, whichever ones are perpendicular. Okay. So I want you to do that first. Okay. Now remember, you can pause this video to draw it. You can pause it, because I'm gonna erase it, do a different one. Let's say you have a trapezoid. Oh, okay. This is line A, B, the side C and D. Which sides are parallel to each other? Which sides are parallel to each other? Is it A and D? B and C, D and B, A and C. Which two lines are parallel? Write that down for me. Then I want you to label each of these angles as a right angle, obtuse angle, or an acute angle. Label each of those angles. Okay, so you're gonna tell me which two lines are parallel and you're gonna label each angle. And then, let's see, how about we do this? A, B, C, D. Please tell me which lines are parallel to each other, which lines are perpendicular, And I want you to label the angles. And when you label the angle, will you write down how many degrees those angles are? Write down how many degrees this angle is right here and how many degrees this angle is. Okay, write those down for me. You guys are doing a great job. This is just a little review to get used to using these terms, parallel, perpendicular, talking about angles and the types of angles. Okay, draw those shapes, label them for me, take a picture, put it on Seesaw. Bye.